The holidays can be a hectic time, and if you're feeling less than merry and more stressed, it's okay to not be okay. Cal Hope encourages that we get together for wellness, and joining us live to discuss all the helpful services that Cal Hope provides is Health Education Council Program Director Lupita Rodriguez. Welcome, Lupita. Hi, good morning, Desiree. Thank good, you. Good morning. So, what is Cal Hope for our viewers who don't know? Yeah, well, I am hoping our viewers have seen those billboards out there or some commercials or other types of media. But Cal Hope is a federally supported effort that offers critical behavioral health crisis counseling programs to states and tribes when uh, there's a federal declaration of emergency. So, in our situation right now, that's the COVID 19 a pandemic. Right, and what all does Cal Hope offer? So, um, you know, Cal Hope offers resources and information to help people find the way during these difficult times. And you said it, um, Desiree, you know, the holidays can be a very happy time for many people, but it is and can be a very um, difficult time for others. So um, the pandemic has been very tough for a lot of people. There has been a lot of loss. There has been a lot of stress. So Cal Hope is there to offer uh, many resources. Um, I think that one of the main ones is our calhope.org website where people can go into the website and really start finding these other resources that they can take advantage of, like the Cal Hope Warm Line, locating a, a crisis counselor that they can talk to, really having a person that is ready to listen to you. That's the biggest, biggest support. And we were just talking a little bit, it's the holidays, which can be a stressful and anxious time for a lot of people. So when we are feeling this stress mm -hmm. and anxiety, do you have any suggestions on how to deal with that? Yes, I think we often forget to take a pause to breathe. And that's the most important thing to really connect with where that stress is coming from, to realize that it's okay, like you said, it, to not be okay, to know that we don't have to fight through the stress and that there is an opportunity to take a pause. Um, there's an opportunity to put down whatever we're doing. Maybe it's uh, getting too much uh, information through the news, through social media. Maybe it's putting down that phone, putting down that remote. And then again, uh, if you feel like you're ready to talk to somebody, to take that step, to visit calhope.org, to call the number, and to talk to somebody when you're feeling ready. I agree with you, Lupita. We live in a world that's go, 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 and especially around this time of year. So making sure we take a moment to pause, take a breath is really needed. Can you tell us more about the mental health resources available through CalHOPE? Yes, so um, on the website calhope.org, we can find a playbook and this is a stress management tips um, handbook that's full of resources and ideas and it's available in many languages. So that's a go to place to find these tips. Um, again, there's the telephone warm line and this is answered by people who have lived through stressful situations themselves. So they have lived experience with um, persevering and resilience. So they are available to help as well. And this is a line that's available 24 seven people can connect and um, call this number and they can be uh, helped in whatever language they speak. So that's a very important number. And I'll uh, read that out loud, 1-833-317-HOPE or 4673. There's also the Cal Hope live chat. So if somebody isn't ready to talk, you know, right now a lot of us are used to chatting, to typing, to texting. So this is an opportunity for those who would rather not have that one-on-one uh, -on -one over the phone, but more of a chat format. This is online, this is live chat but the same resources, same uh, trained crisis counselors. Well, I think people appreciate that you provide so many different options for people to use. And do you have any final tips to help with managing stress? Yes, I think, again, it's okay to not be okay. And it's okay to say no to things, um, especially right now in the holidays. There's maybe families planning get togethers. Maybe there's a lot of things going on and it's okay to say no to some of those, th those things when we are feeling overwhelmed. So setting those boundaries, really checking in with ourselves and those that we love. Also, if we're feeling okay, it doesn't mean um, our partner or our kids should be uh, feeling okay. Also checking in with the rest of our family and connecting them with the help that they might need if uh, we feel they might need that extra hand in uh, navigating emotions. It's an emotional time. So again, it's okay to not be okay and turn to calhope.org um, if you're ready to find those resources. Thank you, Lopita. And like she mentioned, for more information, visit calhope.org.